Alright, this is Muffo See That, and we're by our couch, and you can see a bag here, and if you couldn't guess from the title, this is my Paul preview thing, I guess, because I'm not going to, I'm going to show you everything, but I'm not going to show you everything, except this. Yeah, got this for a dollar, along with some awesome ass comic books, which I'll show you now, or later. It's a preview of shit, whatever. We got a bag full of crap. So pen it over here. Now let's get the artwork out of the way, because that never appear by itself, so. Ugh. So first is this artwork by um, Clyde, but he goes by um, CAG Arts, so it's just a nice picture of Soundwave, Laserbeak, and Rumble Frenzy, depending on which one you want to be called Rumble and or Frenzy, with Ravage right here, the core. Cassetticons for sound with Oh shit. And the second artwork, I only got two this year for Anime Expo 2013, which was from May, uh, not May, from June 4th to the 7th, which is interesting because usually it's the 1st through the 4th, so they changed that. So instead of Big ass firework party at the last day, it's at the first day, so whatever. But as I'll show you later after this second, I'll show you why. And this is Game Grumps, and it has John and um, Aaron. And if you don't know who they are, it's um, YouTube, it's John Tron and Eagle Raptor and I'll just keep it keep it up there. Get the faces up there for a little bit. We go to the individual one. Now we go to the the gameplay. The game gameplay. Game groups. Ooh, the grumpy. Ooh, full body shot. Ooh, ooh, wild blue. Alright, so moving on from that. Uh, I'll show you what you mean what I mean, but I have to reach far back over there, so pardon the full body shot. So this is a Super Saiyan Goku messenger slash book bag, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's official by Funimation. Let's see. Doesn't really fucking say at all, but it's just a, there's as you can feel there's there's shit inside of it. So I'm gonna cut this off later. But go inside. And you can hear the awesome plastic key. So as you can see, this is the badge. I mean, it went for Friday and Saturday, the second and third day, and this is. Well, technically it's the fourth day because it's after midnight and whatever. So this is the badge, and here is a for Simul TV. Last year it was like Neon Alley, but it's like whatevs. Awesome. Like I'll keep most of the cards with later for the um the anime slash schedule reviews so this is the book bag and there's one a pouch and it's a bag you can carry the shit there's this 
thing for the shoulder and the thing for the for the phone. It's pretty fucking awesome. I use it for my senior year in school. I'm gonna get this artwork out of the way and protected. So it doesn't get fucked up. Put it under my laptop spice. Yeah, as you can see, I got I got this blue fin. First, I'll show you the San Diego Comic Con International Exclusive slash uh, Gundam Mid-Year Campaign. This is um, an event that's going on right now because it's technically in the middle of the fucking year. But here is the RX Zero Unicorn Gundam. In unicorn mode, of course, you can see from this shit. Um, full sucker frame prototype mode of suits. And I got this for um, 20 bucks. It's very. It, technically, it's the same thing to what I have against the Anime Expo 2000 Squad exclusive um, Banshee Destroy mode, except this is the unicorn mode and it, the opaque color because the inside is. Um, I'll show you inside later, but it's, it's um, opaque. And bear with me because this is going to be a long ass video. Here. What do I go to? Oh. Ugh. Ah, shit. I show you preview, but. Ever. I'll show you. What else I got? Before. Here is the mid year campaign shit. And have these yet, so don't do shit with them. Okay, so this is the Tamashi. Whoa! Stage act trident for Tamashi Nations works with um, the Gokin robot spirits and SH for grouts. I'm gonna use this for my. Kuga Ultimate Form Decade Decayed Violent Emotion and the third SH Figure Arts which I will show you later. So this is the clear version, the other version they had at the booth was white and black. So yeah. I got these books at Anime Expo, uh, uh, HerpaDerpAnimeBooks.com. They have a, 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 a varied section, to say the least. They had books of everything from Tokusatsu to some adult contact content to um, Toho stuff. So the first one is this. The common writer. I think it's encyclopedia. If I had to say so. It's a thick book. It goes up to Forze. And it's pretty recent too. It was 2000. But it was for 1800 yen, which would be about. Actually, I wouldn't know what it would be about because I have no idea what the fuck the yen is compared to US dollars. But it's expensive because the entire thing cost me over $81 and it's like three books. So it's like. Uh, what? 30 something per? It depends because I'm not sure because some books cost more than the others. This is the Forze, the 40th anniversary book with an exclusive card. And it's. nine eighty yen. So we're going to see the 40th anniversary with the um, Ichigo logo. And the second one is the. Super Sentai book with the 36 legends up to um, 
Go Busters with a poster. There's um, Usagi ra Rabbit, Cheetah Nick, and uh, Gorilla Banana. And it's the same price, I don't know. I did it Oh shit. Start to peel. Here's animebooks.com. I'll go over what I. The stickers and shit, maybe. Like animebooks.com. Art, apparel, toys. They had Gundams. Old school Gundams, like from Gundam G. Or G Gundam, however you want to say it. The only thing I will show you, because it's so big I can't fit it. This is from the Sentai Filmworks booth, and it's a new dub. Kids on the slope, this guy's the drum player, I know, because at the booth they have a cosplayer, hired cosplayer, play drums. And back, it's the same thing, this guy plays piano, while the flower, same dude playing pianos. Now in LNR. Don't know what the fuck that means. Now in LNR. Very big ass. It's like the size of a record. Sleeve. So I'm putting that back in. And now the reason. Ugh, this shit so big. Because I bought comics. The same place I got the ring for a dollar. I got comics for 50 cents a piece. And let me remember which one I got first. Oh, yes. So here is comic books from the Friday. And here is. Comic books from uh, t yesterday. So that is quite a bit. I got a bit more today than I did last time. So I'll show you that in a later review. And I'll show you these. These are I got from the Gundam. Bluefin booth, so those would be separate views. But the schedule and the like the the codes and the the uh, stickers, the promotional stuff. I'll I'll, sh I'll show you as this bag. This is separate. These are separate. Now the last thing that I want to show you is this from Anime King, and it, you can tell because this is kind of see-through, so you can see the box that it's a import exclusive. I'm, I'm not sure about it exclusive, but okay. here we go. S H Figure Arts, Space Chef Gavan. Type G, so it's a new Gavan from the new movie from for the Metal Heroes series. First, the second appearance was in Gokaiju, I believe. But if you can't read Japanese, it um, probably reads Uju KG Gaban Type G, because in Japan the B and V sounds are interchangeable. Same thing with Vasco slash Vasco's, but everyone who watches um, 
Gokaijus calls him Vascos, because it sounds better than Vascos, which was a homage to the Italian explorer. So this is Uju KG Type G, and that's a few reviews. And Jesus Christ, almost 15 minutes. 15 minutes, so. Uh, let me, let me break down uh, reviews for you. One, two, three, four, five, because I'm doing these individually. Six, because they're from the same booth. Seven, because it's schedule and other random shit. Eight, nine, so... In this year's playlist, there are going to be nine different um, reviews, so that be ten in total, um, including this one. And for those who missed out on Anime Expo, sorry I didn't get a uh, announcement video like I did last year saying, "Oh, Anime Expo is coming up, you should go there. I didn't have time because I was like busy this year. And that noise you've been hearing in the background is um, ridiculousness. Should I see someone reset the TV so now it's zoomed in or so whatever. And artwork again in the import Shinkano. I'm getting around to finishing the review after I do an added denim, adding in some shit I missed and doing the the skit. I actually have to re check my reviews because I'm pretty sure so far I've only done skits for my Transformers related videos. So I have to recheck that see if I need to do a skit or not. Because if not, I'll just keep skits Transformers only. So let's, let's do this. Do this 17 minutes. I'm gonna cut this shit right now. After 17 and a half, so. Eh? 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 Bam!